Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways to create gradients and gradients overlay effects. So I have my clip on the timeline, and there's actually two different types of gradients we can create, a four color overlay and a ramp. And there's two different ways that we can apply it onto the clip. So let's start by finding our gradient effects. If you open up the effects panel, you should find under the video effects folder, a folder called generate, and here you see all different types of effects that we can generate. So I'm gonna show you the four color gradient and the ramp gradient. So the four color gradient, let's just click and drag it directly onto our clip. And we should see this default colorful gradient pop up. Now we have four different colors that we can set to different start points, end points, and colors. So the point here is vertically and horizontally where you want it to start. So you can move things around and mix things up. The color of course is what color you want it to be. So you can change the color of these different points. And the blend is how much you want these four points to blend together. So at zero, everything's kind of at its own point. But when you turn this up way past 100, everything starts to get mixed together and feathered together. Now, if you start to experience some gradient banding or loss of quality because you blended things too much, then the jitter is a small little helpful parameter. If you add a little bit of jitter, it's kind of like adding a little bit of noise, which can help reduce banding, but you're probably not gonna notice anything happen too much when you use this setting in most cases, but it's there if you need it. The opacity is just how visible it is, so 100% is 100% visible. Zero, it's 0% 0 visible, it just fades to black. However, you can use the opacity in combination with the blending mode to get the results that you want. So the blending mode is how you want it to blend into the clip underneath. So if we set it to multiply, you can create some cool colorful backdrops out of your video clips and get that Apple Music or Spotify type of look. Then if you want to adjust the opacity, you can lower the strength of the effect. So you can play around with this. You can set it to multiply or color dodge or whatever works for the project that you're working on. But that's the four color gradients. Now next, I'm gonna show you the ramp. Let's say you don't want four different colors. You just want a simple gradient. So I'll delete this. And instead of applying it directly onto the clip, we're actually gonna get a little bit more flexibility with the ramp by applying it onto a black video on top of this track. So let's highlight the project media bin and then go to file, new, black video. This is gonna give us an empty black clip for us to put onto our timeline. And then we can apply the ramp on this black video. So this generates a color to color transition on this clip. So here we have black to white, but you can set these to be whatever you want. So let's set it to be dark royal purple and then end color, let's set it to be a medium green. So now we have this purplish blue to green and you can choose between linear ramp or radial ramp and you can also choose between the starting points and the ending points of these colors. So once you have everything set up how you want, the scatter again is a little bit of noise if you need it to reduce banding or if that's the effect you're looking for. And blend with the original is how much you want it to blend with the original clip. Now, if we applied this directly onto the clip, you'd see that this would blend with the clip. But since we applied it onto a black video, it's blending with a black video. But that's okay, we can actually skip this and just use the overall opacity adjustments that already come with the black video clip and use that to blend things and lower the opacity because the ramp doesn't have a blending mode adjustment on it. So here I can set this to multiply or screen or whatever and create another similar gradient overlay effect and lower the opacity if I want. So that's two ways that you can generate gradients and apply them over your clips. If you guys like this video, definitely leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and check out some more Premiere Pro tutorials in the playlist on my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all types of new creative related videos that I put out. And you can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Instagram and Twitter to stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.